and some among other contributions. Yeah, great defensively. We've seen the blocks. Uh, you're not going to respect my jump shot. I'm going to come down and shoot it in rhythm. Um, my pick and roll mate right here. We got, we're building a rapport. We're going to hit another bucket here. And, you know, he's showing his offensive package, but, you know, really responding from a rebounding standpoint. Only two rebounds last game. Has 10 tonight. And he got off to a slow start, but, you know, big third quarter for him, 10 points. And that's a great way to go into the next game. You know, I, I think uh, to his credit, he's embraced this role off the bench. And so one of the unique challenges of that, Devin, will be if you're a starter and you have a slow start, you have time to kind of work that out. He came in off the bench and didn't score a lot in the first half, and so then you get a second opportunity when you come in the game in the third quarter. I, I almost wonder if perhaps Jason Kidd's early substitution, because remember, Wood came in, uh, around two and a half to three minutes into the third quarter. I wonder if maybe that was what the, the plan was. Let's get him rolling. Let's get him on the floor and give him a chance to get flowing on offense here pretty quickly. I, I think that's exactly what it is. When you have a coach as a point guard, understanding who we need to get going and, and when. You know, it gets off to a slow start in the first half, brings him early in the third quarter, gets him a few looks. Uh, Luca understands how to get him the ball. You know, sees one go in, and then from that point on, it, it kind of snowballs into a great quarter for him. And they understand how important he is, and they're a better team when he plays well, and it gives them a greater chance to really be successful. Ten points, four rebounds, a block shot in the third quarter for Wood. Vanderbilt to score inside, and this thing is back to what it was at halftime, a one-point Dallas lead. That saw the lead swell to six points in the third quarter. It's 82-81 Dallas. We are 50 seconds into the fourth quarter. And Vivens Arena in Salt Lake City, Utah. Lima inside. He's 0 for 3 for the floor tonight. Mavs going a little small here with four guards and a big. Trying to stress the floor out. Get some penetration in there. Air ball, Mike Conley. Rebound, Josh Green. Now the lineup right now is Dinwiddie, Green, Nilakina, Tim Hardaway Jr., and Maxi Kleba. And it's a paint catch for Maxi. Throws it outside. Hardaway caught it with one hand. Touch pass to Dinwiddie. Nice drive. Three pointer on the money. When Maxie's making shots, he's such a different player. And I've told him this time and time again. For him, it's all between the ears. When, when he's confident and he's shooting the ball and, and not really thinking about it, offensively, he's, he's, he's a gifted player. But you know, sometimes he's a little bit harder on himself. And, yep. you know, he's his he worst is. critic. I think that's a very And he gets into his, his mind, and then he kind of takes away from what he can do offensively. But then he can get rolling like game two against the Jazz last year. Eight threes in the game. Dinwiddie. Isolation against Olenek. Gave it up to Kleba. He just hit a three, and now he'll put it down. And is fouled with 10.05 to play in the game. And the Mavs up 85-81. And Klee's headed to the free throw line here. Penetration breaking the, the defense down. Olenek has to come and help and at least Maxi open. The wing three-pointers in the corner are where they want to take the most shots. And, you know, he's shown that he can make that at a, at a high score. I think he's another 40 shooter as well that can really stretch the defense. This is first free throw. One more here for Kleba. Three hundred and twenty-six regular season games through his first five years with Dallas. And now you see the score. It has returned. Nikhil Alexander Walker. With his college basketball at Virginia Tech. And he just ran into Dinwiddie and then threw the ball away. Green up ahead to Nilakina. And Nilakina with a three point try pretty quickly in the shot clock. Vanderbilt rebounds. Gordon Tucker lost it. Hard away up ahead. A developing two on one right now. Here's Green. Nice mid air adjustment as he flies past Alexander Walker to lay it in. Defense to offense, push the ball ahead. I think the second unit wants to play more with that pace and, and try to get an easy basket. Defense to offense, a beautiful thing, man. Good recognition by Hardaway to, to pass it up ahead to create the two on two, but the, the two on one. Yeah, Green running the floor hard. You know, wants to be rewarded, and you know he's. Spencer does exactly that. Vanderbilt cutting off the ball, receives the pass, 
missed the shot. And Green headed the other way. That was his second basket just a moment ago. Big screen by Kleba. And Dinwiddie! Spencer knocks out his first shot of the game. He had some memorable fourth quarters in this building in the playoffs after struggling earlier in games. Obviously, uh, stakes a little different now, but still very nice to see Dinwiddie connect on the three ball. The struggle for him, I mean, talked about it last year, is, is finding ways to be aggressive, understanding his role on certain times of the floor. Is he the first option? Is he the second option? And last year, a lot, he was the third option. And I think now, I think it's more clear cut with Gene and leaving. Starting the game, he's the number two option, and he can be aggressive in doing that. Going to the second unit, he's going to be the number one option. And then he can kind of just focus from there and really learn how to be aggressive and control the game. Here's Hardaway from Dinwiddie. And got himself in rhythm and drills a three-pointer. And the Mavericks have scored, I believe it's 12 straight points now with that three-pointer. Went from 82-81 when I was having to give the score when we didn't have the score bug. And now the score is back. And the only team doing the scoring is the Mavericks. Tim off the flare, one dribble, rhythm dribble to get himself going. And he, he's going to be another guy that's going to benefit from the stretching on the floor. Christian Wood getting a lot of open shots. And we've seen when he gets open shots, what he can do and what he's capable of. 14 points tonight. Average 14 points a game the last year before the foot injury.